good morning this is Joe it's a uh, Tuesday after the Pittsburgh Marathon this is uh, I think this is day nine I missed the past couple days and I apologize for that um, I'm really sore after the marathon so let me get back to um, some of the stuff we missed so let me give you a quick recap so I ran the Pittsburgh 5k the UPMC uh, health plan 5k on Saturday and I PR'd not meaning to I just felt good and so I ran and uh, 2711 was the time on that I felt pretty good I apologize for the bad camera angle I should like be like right on the pillar but um so 2711 on my 5k which is a PR for me uh, I stopped a couple times to walk but not many because I felt good it was a nice race. It was a lot of people. There were like 3,000 people there. It was the biggest 5K I'd ever been a part of. Uh, I'm trying to think like, if there was anything remarkable about that run. Oh, so like I started way, way back in the back because I couldn't get up to my pacer. I thought I'd be able to run at about 9.5 or 10, so I tried to get to that pacer, and when we got into the gate, literally I got as far as like the 13 minute pacer and God bless some of those people for coming out to run but then no one lets you through and you're like dodging people and pinballing through people and so about a mile in I got to the 10 minute pacers and the, the story from that is like I'm running with the 10 minute pacers and I decide I'm gonna I'm gonna try to catch up with the nine and a half minute pacers so I'm looking for a spot, and like I said, there were like 35, there were 3,500 people running this race. So I'm looking for a spot to get through, and this is like over by the Pittsburgh Children's Museum. And I just, I see a spot, and it's like to my left, and I have to like cut across. And as I do, there's this teenager like yakking to the people behind him, and I almost take him out. It could have been disaster. Yeah, just shut up. If you're out there running, just shut up um, and just run your race. And, and if you want to like go over and like see people on the side, like go over and say hi to the people on the side. But don't be talking like down the middle of the track, cause some old guy might take you out. Um, I felt really good after that. I thought I was gonna like freeze up or something, but I didn't. Um, I had a terrible uh, post-race dinner. It was like mac and cheese with buffalo chicken on top. It was probably the worst thing I should have eaten, but I ate it and it was so good. And I had this big piece of tiramisu. <coughs> and probably the exact opposite thing you need to be eating the night before a race. But we got up and they put us in Corral D uh, for this race. Now, they corral people and then they're like staggered starts. And so like, even though the marathon started at at 7 I don't think I started until 7.30 oh, there was that many people were like, there were 12,000 people 12,800 people running the half marathon alone that's just a huge volume of people running through streets that were originally designed for like donkey drawn carts so I ran and I'm pretty proud of myself in that like even though I got away from my plan, I ran like the first four miles. I didn't take my walk breaks like I could have or I should have. Sun's coming up over my shoulder. That's why. That's what that haze is. That's actually going to be the sun, I think. Um. So, uh, I ran the first four miles. I got from the start line to the the old Heinz plant, and then I, you know, I, I decided once I got to. Um, the North Shore I should probably start walking like take my walk breaks and I took my walk breaks I used them wisely uh, I got across the the West End Bridge with no issue that was one of the things that I'd been worried about was getting across the West End Bridge no issue Station Square was a little tough I'm not gonna lie um, it's kinda rolly down by the down by the river on that side of the the like the South Shore of the Ohio there, the Ohio and Lamont there. 
Um, you go uphill into the south side and all the drunk people are like high-fiving you and um, it's awesome. It's awesome there. Um, I got around the Birmingham Bridge, which I didn't think I was going to have any problem with the Birmingham Bridge. And I actually saw Wayne and Garth there, which was cool, from Wayne's World. They were running, or just two dudes in bad mullet wigs. And then, that haze is like getting to me. And then, um, there's like one uphill, um, going into uptown, and then you zigzag around through town, and you come down Grant Street, down to the Boulevard of the Allies, and there's the finish line. And I'm so blessed to have done it. I'm so blessed to have done it, and I apologize, it's gonna run a little over. Um, we got to Morgantown, and everything was copacetic. Like, it just, when I, I was late. I was late to the funeral, but I, I kind of expected that. Getting out of Pittsburgh was a nightmare on Sunday, but we did it. <laughs> and I got to Morgantown, and we buried my grandmother, which was extremely tough. Um, and then we drove home, which was amazingly, I, just thank God for my wife letting me take a nap because I think emotionally I was a train wreck and I was hiding it really well. Yesterday I, I slept and I rested and we went and got our medals engraved at Dick's Sporting Goods in, in Robinson, which was cool. Um, I can hardly see it though, it's real faint. Um, so I start today my, my next phase for training. Uh, we, uh, we're going to do the Decker's Creek, I'm going to do the Decker's Creek half marathon next month. And um, I don't know how to feel about that. It's an emotional one for me too. It's where my grandparents live. So I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm training for it. The training run this morning was horrible. I'm so sore. I'm still sore. Like almost 48 hours after the race, I'm, I'm sore. So, but we'll stretch out today. And I have a long run planned on Friday morning because I have Friday morning off for Cameron's uh, spring recital. So, more tomorrow. Tomorrow's day 10. And I apologize, I, I was going to do a video yesterday and I totally just flaked out. I totally flaked out because I was burnt out, tired, but well, I'll be more regular. Alright, so we'll see you tomorrow.